So many reasons for you to be happy. So many reasons for you. So basically, what I tend to like drive away from is like changing for other people. And I have learned, like, I'm so confident in my personality. Like, I'm confident in my personality. But it kind of sucks when people tell you to not, like, the other day when I was just sitting there and then I was just being me, like screaming, being loud, you know, like, you know, not like saying temperature but I was just like being loud, being me, being like, hey guys, you know, whatever. My friend was like, Hannah, I love you like that, but like, guys aren't gonna like you when you act like that. Like, and first of all, I don't even care because I mean, I'm take like, I have a boy, like, I have a boyfriend right now and we're almost three months, but anyways, Anyways, um, apparently we're like goals, but it's okay, whatever, okay. So, it's not like I care if I was being me and people don't like me because like I already have a guy that likes me for who I am. But the fact that, I don't know, it just like really got to me because like if you're my friend and you tell me to be something I'm not, then I'm sorry. But, uh. Anyways, so that was just like a time, that was like a few days ago and it just like really has been bothering me and like, but yeah, anyways, this is how to be self-confident in yourself and not to let people, you know, like, get to you and for them to make you change. So, yeah. Okay. So, first off, before I even start with my uh, tips and stuff, I was going across a video, how to be self-confident, you know, some tips and stuff, and I came across this one video that said, this was the title, How to Be Pretty. And I was just sitting there for a second, just like, how to be pretty. You mean how to feel pretty? Because if you want to be, okay, this is probably going to come out wrong, but like, you know, normally the title should be how to feel pretty, not how to be pretty. Because like, people should feel pretty, they shouldn't change themselves to be pretty. They're already pretty with like their own skin. So if the title was how to be pretty, and I was just so confused because I was like, you mean how to feel pretty? Because if you can't just change yourself, like, how to be pretty, get fake boobs, how, how to be pretty, get liposuction, you know, get a fake butt, or it's not a fake butt, but, like, get a big butt, work out, get abs, get toned, you know, um, have cute hair, that's how to be pretty. How to feel pretty is confidence in yourself. How to be pretty is changing who you really are. That's where I was just, like, really mad about that title, but, okay, moving on to my tips. Okay. So, I'm just going to go over, this was also in my This Is Me video, but I'm just going to go over a few things that I'm very, very self-confident about. I'm self-confident about my body, about, I want big boobs, like, I have, like, no boobs at all, like, that's how I feel. Um, I have no butt at all, that's how I feel. I have, like, really bad eyebrows, and actually the other day somebody complimented my eyebrows because... If you go back to like three videos ago, my eyebrows were terrible. Everybody admitted that. And everybody made fun of them and stuff. And I even did too. And that brought my self-confidence down a lot about my eyebrows. And now they're trying to grow back to where they were supposed to be. Like they're not like this small anymore and they aren't like this big anymore. They're just perfect. And to me, they look okay. This one's better than that one. But no eyebrows are the same. Um, you know, I want my hair to be a lot longer. You know, I, 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 I want to be tan. I don't want to have freckles like all over my arms and my legs. Like I, mean, I don't have freckles in my legs, but you know, people said that I was thick. Like, but like the only thing that's thick about me are my thighs, and that's because I did softball and gymnastics for like. And my butt is like, <laughs> like there's no butt there. That's so some tips. Every time you come across yourself, um, saying something bad about yourself. As soon as you say that, when you say, oh, but I look cute in this, or no, I look cute in that top, or I, but my hair looks good today, or like, oh, I'm rocking this eyeliner, you know, like that, like, as soon as you're like, ew, I don't like my boobs, they're too small, ew, my butt looks really bad on me, just be like, but this top looks cute on me, but my eyes look good, but my eyes look good, you know, just like, come back with another confident, and then don't be cocky, don't be um, conceited, be confident, because that's one thing that everybody hates, guys do not like, girls do not like, nobody likes those who are 
conceited. They like girls who are confident in themselves. You need to learn a difference. You need to learn the middle between insecure and conceited. You need to learn the difference between that because nobody likes conceited and nobody likes uh, not confident or like insecure. Girls my age really get to me because if they look like this at this age and I'm this age and I don't look like that or my eyebrows aren't like that good or my eyeliner or my eyeliner's never good like that. I don't look good with these types of jeans or like this shirt or like they can wear a shirt without being called bad names and stuff or they can uh, get guys because they have boobs and a butt, you know, like that's just like really gets me. So you guys need to learn that like everybody has flaws and everybody doesn't really show how they feel about themselves. Okay, this really boosts my self confidence. When some, or like when I go up to a person and say, oh, you look really pretty today, they'll be like, thanks. I don't know, that just makes me feel like a really good person. That just definitely brings up my self confidence. If, you know, if you're like, oh, you look really good today, and they're like, thank you, that really made my day. That feels amazing. Because for me, that really boosts up my self confidence because they just said that you brighten their day. I, I'm sorry. So never be scared to be like, oh, you look really cute today, or like your skirt, you know, just like say stuff, like they're gonna love it. And this might be a little dumb, but get a diary and just like, or get a journal and just write about what you looked good in today. Write about what you did for the day that made you happy. Don't change for guys. Don't change for your friends. Don't try to impress your friends. They're there for a reason. They're there to boost your self-confidence, not to bring you down. So if they're obviously not helping you with your self-confidence, then drop them. Because if you're trying to change yourself to look good for them, then they're obviously not there for you. They're obviously not going to be there for you when you look bad. Or when, when you just got surgery and then you have to put makeup on to hide, like, everything. You know, like, you need people to bring you up and not for you to impress them. Try things that you've never tried before, you know, eat a different food, maybe you'll like it and it'll boost your confidence because if you wouldn't try that, then it wouldn't have changed anything in, the, in your life, but it did not. Block out hate, literally block out hate. If you're on Instagram, somebody's hating on you, block them. Hit, go to settings and hit block user. You know, I'm serious though, because how are they gonna look at your pictures and judge you? How, how is it remotely possible? Like, all the things that they're said about you, like, oh, you're terrible at putting on makeup, Ooh, this, 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 is your eyebrows are messed up, your hair is ugly, your hair, like every, your boobs are too small, you know, like, how are they going to see that about you, but they're blah, they can't see your pictures, you know, it's just like that, so, yeah, hopefully this helped you guys, if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and hit subscribe button so I know that you guys liked it, and if you guys want any more tips on confidence or any tips on anything, then comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.